The 2021 Kazira Welts Award winner Pumelelo Butelezi Solo Exhibition Uguzi Luganisa is currently being hosted by the Bag Factory Artist Studios in Johannesburg. Curated by Tlalifi Maditi, the, this body of work explores ideas of self-reflection, identity and spirituality through black and white digital photographs that narrate the isolation experienced during the national lockdown. Well, Pumelelo is here to tell us more about uh, the the self portraits and that he produced for this project. Good morning, welcome to Morning Live. Thank you for How having. How are you? Fine and you? I'm great, thank you. I mean, tell us about um, this body of work, which was inspired by the nationwide lockdown. You know, just talk to us about that. Cool. So initially, uh, the project started as me depicting myself as an angel of God, mm -hmm. um, having all these different uh, visualizations and imaginations since I predominantly come from a Seventh-day Adventist family. Mm -hmm. So when the national lockdown came, you know, um, we were not, um, I was not familiar with like not going to communal spaces like churches because of now uh, the pandemic has made us to self-isolate, to distance ourselves even from our parents, you know. So I started having questions of um, why is this happening? Uh, what, what's, what's the reflection behind this whole pandemic, you know? And then from there, and I had questions of how angels are depicted in the Bible. Are they human? Are they creatures? Are they female? Are they male? Then I came with the question of um, self-reflecting and self-isolation and self um, doing self-introspection about myself as who I am, what's my purpose in life. And then the body of work started about me depicting myself as an angel of God, then it expanded to the whole lockdown of how the lockdown uh, made creatives to create um, work in secluded spaces mm. because of we used to creating space outside of our comfort zone. We source inspiration from nature by taking a walk, listening to music, just um, um, de-stressing from like the whole creative realm and how things are done and the world at large. So yeah, then from there, um, isolation became like um, a topic that I needed to divulge into and pointing the camera at myself and yeah. asking myself all these questions, who I am, what's my value, um, how can I take self-portraits because of I'm used to photographing people, you know. So yeah, that's that's how the photo yeah. work came about. Yeah, I, I, I believe that the, the initial stage is right at the beginning yeah. to use your bedroom, yeah. you know, as the studio. Tell studio. us a little bit about that. So um, I was trying to make my bedroom more creative mm -hmm. uh, by pointing the camera at myself and trying to make um, the images stand out because of if you could pay attention to the detail of the image, it's intentional. Um, I'm trying to unpack what, what is it like to be a man uh, in the society. I'm tackling issues like masculinity and how black bodies are viewed in the society. It's isolation, it's religion and aspects of religion. Uh, it's me cleansing myself, mm. you know, and trying to find divinity and sanity and purity and purifying myself with all the issues that I'm dealing with as a man, you know, and as a male figure because of we are not vocal about the issues that um, affect us as men as opposed to women, you know. You guys are vocal. When you're going through something, you share with your friends, with your family. We as men, you know, we don't discuss these issues, you know, and it's creating a self-awareness and trying to build a community wherever possible that if you're going through something, let's share this, let's encourage one another, let's mold one another, let's build one another. So the camera became a reference point yeah. of view, yeah. What was that like, though, pointing the camera mm -hmm. on yourself and forcing yourself to reflect on who you are? It was tricky and it was a bit stressful as well yeah. and hard, you know, because of, I'm not used to taking self-portraits. Mm. I'm used to photographing people when I'm doing feature stories or stories outside of my comfortable uh, space zone, you know. So it's resonating with my space in my room and trying to make the space creative uh, because of I'm all about change in my work because of if I want to see change, you need to be the change, you know. Mm -hmm. So it was a journey and it still is. Um, the project is not done, you know, it's an idea that came about. So I'm trying to educate the audience um, with the issues and with the themes and the topics that I'm trying to convey through my images as yeah. taking um, self-portraits and infusing my friends, you know, uh, thanks to them because of if it wasn't for them uh, and 
the supports from them, my parents, my family, you know, just my support structure, you know, this project was not going to be alive. Yeah. Now, you, uh, it was curated by Khalif. He talked to us about that conversation when he said, okay, I will curate this and th this is my vision. What is that? What did that conversation sound like? Okay, so uh, thanks to Back Factory mm -hmm. and Back Factory at large because of they selected Khalifi to assist me uh, curate the show because of we share the same medium background you know mm -hmm. photography we from the same school the market photo workshop so when they paired us together they sort of have an idea that we coming from a background of the same medium of practice which is photography so the collaboration is going to be uh, impactful conducive so Tarifi at first um, I needed to lay out the idea to her and tell her this is what my body of work is about and then she has she assisted me she guided me in terms of my text and yeah it it was a developmental kind of a process you know it was a daily process when we were meeting up in studio trying to develop the narrative you know because of um it's a story so a mm. story starts with an introduction then a body and then a conclusion i'm not done as yet i think the project will be done probably oh i doubt even you yeah because of every day when i'm going through a challenge or something that's affecting me i share with my creative team which which are my friends now who are also part of the project you know like wandile baloi and lungela makamo and kukuletu zalani they helped me and assisted me in conjunction with Khalif as well speak to us about the decision to go black and white because that also on its own is a you know it's a start or it's a it's a message yeah talk to us about that so as human beings we don't think in color mm -hmm. we think in black and white mm -hmm. so and black and white um, and the work as well is very conceptual you know uh, the narrative i thought it was going to suit it well with black and white not with color because mm. I, I tried um taking some few images with color and then transferred them to post-production with black and white uh, with black and white and mm. then they worked so yeah and then you had you opened last night yeah how was that uh it was it wasn't last night it was during the day yeah uh, it was amazing the reception I was kind of nervous about yeah. the, the reception and how people are going to view the work because of I come from a documentary background so now I'm tapping into self-portrait, portraiture, fine arts, you know, so they really like the work, uh, it's very impressive um, and they enjoyed the show, yeah. you know, and I enjoyed the show as well, you yeah. know, so um, and I was a bit nervous as well, you know, because of every opportunity or every avenue that I received. I always take it as a learning curve. Um, I'm open to ideas. I'm open to, to bouncing um, ideas, uh, concepts, thoughts, you know. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a journey and it still is. What is the significance of the title though? Um, uh, so I now started um, uh, praising my, my family lineage and my native language since I'm Zulu. Mm. So that's why the title Luguzi Kluganisa, which translates to isolation, mm -hmm. uh, it felt fit to title the work in my native language mm -hmm. uh, since my granny uh, started explaining how my um, surname came about, how big it is in the Zulu um, uh, culture. And then from there, I needed to take pride uh, in who I am, in my family culture. Uh, you know, so that's why even the subtitles and the captions of the images are titled in Zulu. Mm. And also I needed to praise uh, my, my clan names from, from the Butelezi uh, 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 family. So yeah. All right. So yeah. how long is the exhibition on for? It's, and how long is it run for? Uh, sorry, it's from the 4th to the 30th of June. So uh, people are welcome to come during the week uh, and weekends at Back Factory from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Yeah, I'll be there if and two weeks from now. Uh, on the 18 is the work about of the exhibition where yeah. people can come and ask me questions how do you take this picture what's the story behind it why black and white as you're asking me yeah. all these questions yeah all right Mbumalel, thank you so much for talking to us it's a pleasure. Thank, thank you thank you, you very much well that's award-winning photographer Mbumalel Butelezi, and we've just been speaking to him about his uh, current solo exhibition at the back factory um out in it's newtown it's not newtown what is it? does it fall under newtown it's close yeah, to the it's plaza. Just, yeah, yeah so it's like it falls under between Newtown and Bit of Fortsburg. Fortsburg, yeah, okay. So, yeah. so we'll make it we'll take yeah. it as Fortsburg. Yeah. <laughs> that is the name of the exhibition.